Fire Podcast. I am Sir Matt, the Bud Knight, joined once again by Lady Teresa, and we are back for Mead, Meat, and Cheese Part 3, where we are making some flatbread and chickpea paste. Yep. Hey guys, so we're going to do this modern flatbread version because it takes much less time. The other one was a lot of kneading activities like that. So I have a half cup of the one and a half cups of hot water, warm water that we're doing here. And I have two and a half teaspoons of yeast or one packet is roughly that. So that's gonna go in. And then you add the honey to it. It's supposed to be about one teaspoon. I'm just trying to use the very last of this. All right. And so you're supposed to let that sit for 10 to 15 minutes until it gets kind of foamy. You can see it's already starting, actually. So it's getting kind of yeasty. So we're gonna let that chill out for a minute. I have pre-measured three cups of flour here. I'm gonna add one and a half teaspoon of salt into there and then just wait for our yeast to be super happy. Okay, so I'd say that's foamy. It's pretty serious. All right, so it said like make a little hole in your flour. Isn't that cute? This is three cups of flour. Gross. I don't know how people like make kombucha and other yeasty things. Beer. Well, I guess I don't understand how people make beer, but. I don't know. <laughs> also, shout out to our friend April who got us oh, a spatula. Yeah. This is our like donation to our cause, our, uh, you know. Song of Ice and Fire cause of cooking. Said that we needed a ice spatula. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Are we supposed to get a, a fire one too? All right, so now we're supposed to slowly add the rest of the one cup of water. Just kind of put that in there. Okay, so I stirred in the rest of the water. It looks pretty sticky. I'm gonna flour my hands and get to it here kind of just plop it onto there and you can try to scrape some of that out all right that'll do it add some flour on top make a huge mess all right so you're supposed to knead for 10 to 15 minutes which is a lot so I'm gonna kind of get it started with flour on the counter here, and then it's gonna go in the KitchenAid because um, I already worked out today, so I'm I'm good. Okay. All right, so got it out of the KitchenAid kneading situation and flopped it in here. So I can show you. It's like pretty, you know, doughy. Seems pretty happy. Um, went to a greased bowl, greased with olive oil, and then it's supposed to just hang out for an hour and rise in a warm area. So I turned on the oven for just a minute to kind of warm up that area, and then I'll just shut it off uh, until we're closer to being ready. I'm not a big bread maker, I only really make pizza dough, so we'll see how things go. Okay, so while our flatbread is rising, we're gonna make chickpea paste aka hummus. Um, have the ingredients out here, garbanzo slash chickpeas, salt, olive oil, tahini. Um, this is, some people substitute peanut butter. I couldn't find tahini at our store, but our friend of mine, I knew she would have some, saw her recently, so I borrowed some from her. Lemon, chopped garlic. This is the liquid out of the can from the beans. Um, this is supposed to be the garnish, is like some whole beans and paprika. The recipe calls for a 19-ounce can of beans. Cans come in 15 ounces. So, what are they talking about? I don't know. Maybe, it's, maybe it's in another country it's different. I don't know. So, roughly everything should be like, you know, this is, o this is only three quarters of the recommended bean amount. Or, you know, it's missing some. So I might like try to do a little bit less on all this because that's weird. So we're gonna use Quiznart. Um, I imagine in Game of Thrones land, they would use um, 
to mortar and pestle because that's how you can smash things. Um, luckily, we don't have to do that. This is the olive oil. So you lean a little bit out. And then this nice peanut butter situation here. We need that. Okay, the garlic, it said two cloves. We like garlic, so that's three. And salt, very important. And then lemon juice. I'm gonna squeeze my lemon over here in case it has a bunch of seeds in it, which it does. It says use a quarter cup of lemon, which is, I don't know, roughly one lemon, sure. All right, get all of that out. And I'm just gonna pour it through my fingers, catch the seeds. All right, and then we're gonna blend it. All right, so we're gonna food process it. And you're supposed to slowly add the liquid back in so it's creamy. Alright, so I'm going to scrape down the sides once or twice to make sure there's not too much chunk of it. just looks pretty creamy. What do you think, Sir Matt? Uh, yeah. I think it's pretty good. I don't think I'd add any more liquid. Alright, here's our hummus. And we can do our little um, garnish. I'm coming out of a giant can, so I'm trying to be super careful. Um, I tasted it by licking the spoon. It's kind of bland, so I'm going a lot on that. And then here's our little garnish situation. Isn't that cute? All right, and then we'll uh, smear that on some flatbread once we get it going. All right, so here's our twice risen well, it's risen to twice the size. I think it looks like twice the size. So I'm gonna put some flour on my hands. Yank it out here somehow. Okay, rolling out into a rope. Uh, see, I don't. Yes, I don't think if I rolling pin this, it would. It's gonna go off the counter. <laughs> I'm supposed to be able to cut it into 10 to 12 pieces, which I'm gonna say that's about, sorry, I need flour over here. I don't know that that'll, something like that. And then you're supposed to cut it into 10 to 12. I don't think we're gonna have 10 to 12. I don't think so. Well, it'll be easier to like. I want my I want, I want my work. half as just one piece. <laughs> just one giant one. I was thinking about that. Let's just make one huge one. But then, like, what if it sticks or? Right. I don't know. If we have issues and it's one giant piece, then we're like screwed with the whole, whole, you know, video. Okay. Then roll them in the balls and leave them on a floured surface for ten minutes. So I guess that's what we're doing. And then you're supposed to uh, heat the oven to 500 degrees. Get ready to smoke out the joint here. Um, and I was gonna use our pizza stone, which is a cast iron pizza stone. It says you could use like a, just a regular baking sheet, but the instructions, I don't know. I think you want cast iron. Like I think instead of a baking sheet, it'd be better to use like a cast iron fry pan, um, because then you're supposed to like cook them for just like a couple minutes on either side. It's kind of like making um, I don't know, like fry bread. Only not frying it, but you're doing it in the oven. So, anyways, just be careful when you're turning on an oven to 500 degrees, because that's a lot. So. All right, so we let these hang out for 10 minutes. They do actually look a little bit cuter. Um, I'm gonna scoot them aside because you're supposed to rolling pin them, which is weird. I kind of want to just use my hands, but I'll try to follow the 
instructions. And it's supposed to be like six. To, see, I just want to use my hands. It just seems stupid. Well, just use your hands. But it is a great rolling pin. Someone got it for me. Yep. Sir Matt. All right. Is that six inches? Sure. All right. So, yeah. So, I'm supposed to roll these out. I did not turn up the oven, but I will do so. I put our um, pizza stone in there. I oiled it. Um, it already had uh, canola on it, so I just put more canola on it. And so that's supposed to heat up to 500 degrees and supposed to slap these puppies on there only for a couple minutes, flip them for one minute and then take them off. So I think it'll be pretty, it's kind of like tortillas. All right, so oven is at 500 degrees and Stone is hot, feels really hot. I'm gonna scoot this out a little bit and toss some of these down there, I guess. So no, we're only supposed to do, no, we only have them on there for like a minute. That's not true. Isn't that what it said? I mean, yeah, but it's gonna take longer than a minute. Well, I just follow the directions. I know, and then you have chewy dough to eat. Okay, so a minute or possibly. Here, I have the light on. Two minutes. Check it out. Until they're brown. And then we flip. Yes. And then it said don't smash it with the spatula because you don't want all the steam to go out from the inside. I don't entirely know. Is it going to puff out into like a... Well, like it's, a they said it's supposed to be pita. Right. Like a, it's going to like be like a bag of popcorn, like pop popcorn. And you're not supposed to like, you know. Yeah. I don't know. I have all the tools up because I don't know what I will want to okay. use. And I'm going to have to feel like I'm going to have to be, you know, fast about it because... You know, you can't leave. You can't leave. So we gotta hang out. Because yeah. things could burn. Okay, well, we'll come back in a minute. Alright, so it's been 10 minutes and we're impatient. And one of them is kind of puffy, so I'm gonna flip it just to kind of see what we're working with. Yeah, so definitely not one minute, like they kind of said. I'm gonna flip that guy over. I mean, that's looking good. I mean, it's brown on the top, but not on the bottom. Um, so yeah, so we waited 10 minutes and now I don't know what we're gonna do. We're just gonna see if those other two puff up, give that other one maybe three or four more minutes and then pull it out. I have a wire rack on the counter to set them on to cool. And then, I don't know, we'll just keep cooking away. Sorry, we may have been fiddling on our phones and realized shit was burning. Um, I'm worried they're gonna stick. I'm gonna paint a little bit of oil on before I slap a fresh one on there because that would suck. Just That's what it looks like. But the other ones aren't getting they look fat. good, but they're not really puffing up like pita. Did you take the other side though? Hmm. That, that was, I, I flipped it. So oh, that okay. was the other side. Mm -hmm. So they only need like a minute or so. And then we'll just keep plowing through. I don't know if I, I mean, how did one of them puff up and then the other two didn't? I don't know. I just happened to like not need the crap out of that one. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. So we'll keep cooking and then we'll let you know. All right, so we cooked them all. They certainly all cooked differently. Um, these are the ones I painted with oil. We had those two at the beginning that just came out flat. I don't know if our pan was not hot enough yet um, we still ate it, so it's certainly not inedible. I'm sure it will get eaten. But these look, I mean, these look pretty cute, and I would say I would, I think I would do this again. It's kind of annoying to cook them all individually. I could fit three on our pan, so I kind of want to pull Matt's trick and just, like, cook a giant one. Yeah, I think that's the way to do and it. And then I would just, like, cut it like a pizza yeah. to eat it with. Wow, you could probably put pizza sauce on you just make it into a pita yeah. pizza. All right, so we're gonna try our stuff here. They're see. pretty hard. It's definitely not like a soft. Got a crunch, bread. like crusty yeah. French bread. Both really good. The chickpea paste, that's what it's called per the book. AKA hummus. AKA hummus. 
um, is not as creamy as I want hummus to be. The trick for that is to shell the garbanzo beans. But who's got time for that? Like, for, everyone in the, for real. Yeah. I don't know who has time for that. That's excessive. I did it one time, and hummus was freaking delicious. <laughs> but it was... Was it worth it? I mean, I'm not going to do it tomorrow. Like, I didn't do it, you know... It's, yeah. it's special occasion. Yeah. So... But I think these, I mean, these turned out, I would, you know, I'd make both of these relatively again. So, turned out pretty good. So, are you, do you want to try it? Yeah. Let me try it here. What do you think, Sir Matt? I, really, I like the bread because I like kind of a harder, like a sourdough type. Chewy. Mm-hmm. Bread. The hummus to me is just like Regular hummus. standard hummus, which is fine. Standard hummus is great. So, yeah, this is good actually. I mean, I think it turned out really well. It doesn't call for, you know, snake or goat or some of the other things. Uh, it's from Dorn actually, right? You know, so that kind of, uh, so I think that kind of fits where what you, this type of style of food would fit in the Game of Thrones world. So, yeah, it was good. So, thank you, uh, you know. Lee Teresa for coming back on again. And guys, we'll see you next time here on Mead, Meat, and Cheese. And remember that winter is coming. <laughs>